Happening now with several scandals dogging the White House. A column by the Wall Street Journal's James Taranto caught our eye. Here's an excerpt. He writes, Liberal media bias is an old complaint, but the Obama presidency has given it a new and dangerous form. Never has the prevailing bias of the media been so closely aligned with the ideological aims and political interests of the party in power, end quote. Let's get some reaction from that to our wall, uh, from, to that from our News Watch panel. Jim Pinkerton is a contributing editor and writer for the American Conservative Magazine and a Fox News contributor. Alan Combs, host of The Alan Combs Show and author of Thank the Liberals for Saving America and Why You Should. A new and dangerous level, Jim? Well, it, what Taranto said in that piece is, of course, what Kirsten Powers has been saying as well. Now, she's a Democrat who worked in the Clinton administration, and she said, listen, you know, there might have been media bias back then, but Bill Clinton certainly got clobbered a lot of the time by the liberal media. I can remember Chris Matthews would, would routinely attack Bill Clinton back in the 90s. And, of course, now uh, her point is, and I agree, and I, is that it's changed substantially and that the media are much more in lockstep with President Obama than any other Democratic president I can think of. Somehow I suspect Alan sees it differently. You must be psychic. Uh, I would say, <laughs> to say that never before has the media been so aligned with the party in power is to me just patently absurd. You had uh, a media that pushed the Iraq war when Bush was in power. You have a left wing that's very upset about Guantanamo still being open, about drone attacks, about civil liberties, and I don't see the marriage between the media and, uh, and, and what the administration is doing on the left as much as Jim does. And, and Toronto, of course, who is a conservative writer. Well, there are, well, there are a bunch of uh, left-leaning uh, organizations that have been pushing the idea that the IRS deserved to go after the Pe uh, Tea Party and that the Tea Party deserved the kind of scrutiny it's been getting. They deserve to go after any of these 501c4 organizations. And by the way, of 298 organizations they went after, only a handful, about 72 or so, were Tea Party groups. A number were progressive groups, not as many. And there were other groups that would had no ideological affiliation. But they should go after all of these groups. Alan? And they granted them uh, st that 5013C4 uh, status when they didn't deserve it. A Alan, 72 is more than a handful. A handful out of, you know, out of 298? Is, 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 well, that's a quarter. That's a big number. I mean, look, I don't think there's any, I don't think anybody, except perhaps you and, and maybe the people funded by the George Soros media <laughs> consortium, uh, think that the IRS yeah. was even handed. It was anything other than oh, even, I don't it think was it was even handed. Oh, at all fair on this. Let me be clear. It, it, I don't think it, that. It, that Mike Ciandella at Newsbusters did a yeah. terrific piece in which he counted up the members of this, quote, media consortium, uh, all, which have gotten a total of $14 million from George Soros. Uh, and not surprisingly, you know, a deal's a deal. Uh, they are doing, they're doing and saying everything that the Obama administration and the, uh, and the, uh, and the IRS and Soros himself would, would want them to do, which yeah, is to is. Say, that, say that there's no, no scan the only scandal here, they're saying, is that the IRS wasn't tough enough uh, the right wing on has been Tea frothing, Party groups and so on. So the right wing has been frothing at the mouth for a so-called scandal ever since Obama's been in office. And this idea that some kind of liberal consortium, now you want to tie George Soros to it, the Washington Post called the targeting conservative groups appalling. I agree with that. The New York Times said there was a serious mistake made uh, by focusing on groups with Tea Party in their name. This isn't a liberal consortium supporting what's going on. I think the Times and Post were exactly right to say this is appalling and seriously wrong. But then you've, you've I, I agree with you. Like and, and so does Elijah Cummings, you know, the leading Democrat right. on the investigation committee. I mean, I mean, there's plenty of Democrats and plenty of liberals who are horrified by what the IRS does. The Ciandela point was people who are on the Soros payroll, oddly enough, are kind of happy with it. Yeah. Uh, when you read down the list, the Center for American Progress, the Center for Public Integrity, the American Prospect, uh, ProPublica, Mother Jones, all of these organi organizations uh, got huge donations from George Soros you know, totaling up to the millions of dollars. Do you think George Soros dictated to them what they should say about this? I don't work for George Soros, by the way. I want to make full and open disclosure. But, you know, again, we're now we're trying to drag George Soros into this scandal. Well, well it, I, it, it I, is I, pretty I, interesting that all of those organizations uh, uh, su suggested uh, that the IRS has done nothing wrong. All right, well, then show me, after these show, show me that somehow they're taking direction from Soros in terms of editorializing on the IRS scandal. I mean, well, they're, they're, getting, they're getting paid by him. But show me the, this, show this, me the this, link between what they're saying here and getting paid. We don't have no evidence of that. I mean, Soros is a far left Democrat okay. who likes Obama. So, and so, so oddly enough, the people on his payroll are, 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 are saying what he wants. But listen, the, the, 
the, the, the more interesting issue here is, as Fernando points out in his piece, is that among the groups getting funded are, 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 are I mean, the, the Washington Post, which is not part of the Soros Consortium, said, oh, they're a good government group. This is a group called Democracy 21. They're not a good government group. They're a left-wing advocacy group. But that's where the bias comes in. It bleeds over from Soros hirelings to the mainstream media in general when the mainstream media say, listen, the, the Soros Jim, hirelings are just, are just nice people. Do you what, think what? these Tea Party groups that are clearly political in nature and are not quote unquote public service organizations deserve this special tax exempt status from the IRS? What, I don't think any of them. Uh, Alan, Alan, what about the president's, you know, the president's half brother opened that uh, 501c4 organization, I, the Bar Barack H. Obama Foundation. Does that deserve tax free status? I don't think any of them do. I mean, I'm not here defending giving them tax free status. I, I, I'm saying, I, and I'm not defending targeting conservative groups. I think it is appalling, but let's be fair and balanced and point out that a small percentage of those groups were Tea Party groups. Some of them were liberal groups and there were many nonpartisan groups that were targeted as well. Well, uh, Alan, I, I, go ahead. Go ahead. I mean, you're, Alan, your math is way off here. The, 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 the statistics on the bias, the orientation, including their own statements. Where they said, Alan, we're talking about something that the IRS has already admitted to. They admitted that they targeted Tea Party groups. I, they, agree. They, I mean, they don't need you to deny it because it's too late. I, it's already many, been I'm said. not denying it. I'm telling you. How many times do I have to say it was appalling? How many times? Do you want me to write it out for you in no, blood? But, but, you, but just, you then say. I'm pointing, the out, next, I'm pointing out that of 298 groups, 72 were Tea Party groups, 11 were 912 groups, 13 were Patriot groups, according to the Inspector General. That's all I'm pointing out, and that there weren't, it wasn't a majority of but, Tea Party groups. But if, but, if, but if groups that have Tea Party in the name or, or good government or, you know, constitutional right. instruction, if that is the, the key right. word that they were looking for, that's pretty telling. I agree with you. It's wrong. How many right. times? I agree with you. All right. You won't take yes for an answer. I will take but the, yes but for the point an answer. Is, the point is that the issue is not what Alan thinks. The issue is how the mainstream media right. portray this, and, and the mainstream media continue to portray this as... Right. Uh, 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 oftentimes as something legitimate. MSNBC, every, every show on MSNBC, is, except for Morning Joe, is, is saying that the IRS is the right thing. That's uh, where the bias comes in. Uh, you, right. you mentioned uh, a bunch of not mainstream media websites. I mentioned the New York Times and Washington Post, who agree with us that this is totally wrong. All right. Except that the Washington Post then called Democracy 21 a good government group. That was they called the IRS said appalling. We're going to have to... We're gonna have